Are you in search of the best and beautiful Linux distribution for your PC or laptop? There are tons of Linux distros out there in the market which offers a wide variety of features and this leads to confusion for many users. Unlike Windows 10 and Mac OS, it's not so easy to choose the best flavor of Linux for personal computing. For naive Linux users, it is quite intimidating to choose the best Linux distro. Hey what's up guys, my name is KSK, welcome back to another video. In this video, I will show you the top 5 best and beautiful Linux distributions in 2020 for your PC or laptop. Let's get started. Now being an open source, Linux has a large community base which extensively works on different distributions for its users to provide the best services. Every distribution works so hard by putting their efforts to make the Linux comfortable for desktop users. Now talking about the Linux distro, at number one we're having Zorin OS. Now, Zorin OS is an alternative to Windows and Mac OS designed to make your computer faster, more powerful, and secure. It is one of the refined Linux desktop OS, which features a GNOME desktop environment. Aesthetically, Zorin OS user interface is eye-pleasing. From beginners to high-end users, everyone will appreciate the UI of Zorin OS. It is super user-friendly and gives the level of comfort that you can't even get on any Linux desktop. For naive Linux users who are expertized in Mac OS, OS and Windows will easily be able to adapt the UI without the need of freaking out. Now, Zorin OS is based on Debian Linux and uses an aptitude and Debian package mechanism to install its software programs. Talking about features, Zorin OS looks quite similar to Mac OS, which inherits some of the features you get to see in Mac OS like Dock, Launchpad, App Store, Desktop Pages, and more. The all new Dock is fully customizable. You can add as many applications as you want to the Dock for a quick launching. Now when it comes to core UI features, Zorin OS offers a dark theme, accent colors, and desktop layouts. So this way you can customize the user interface as per your liking. Now unlike other Linux distros, Zorin OS offers multiple additions for different users. Ultimate, Core, and Light editions. The Ultimate Edition is on the top number one, so which uses an XFCE desktop environment, which is a paid OS, offers a premium desktop layouts, business and media applications, and over 20 games pre-installed out of the box. So if you can't afford Ultimate Edition, you can choose the Core Edition, which uses a GNOME desktop environment, the one which I recommend the most, and the Light Edition is for the PC and laptop with bare minimum hardware. So overall, I would say Zorin OS is a beautiful user-friendly Linux distribution that runs super smooth on your PC or laptop. At number two, we are having Elementary OS. Elementary OS is the most powerful and beautiful Linux distro which reminds you the classic look of Mac OS. It's simple, fast, and powerful. It uses a Pantheon desktop environment which looks completely different from GNOME desktop distros. The developers of this OS has tweaked a lot which gives a true feeling of classic Mac OS. I mean, if you have used Mountain Lion, Snow Leopard, Mavericks, you know what I meant to say. The UI looks stunning and impressive, it comes with a beautiful set status bar on the top. The status bar holds a space to show time, application splatter, and quick toggles. At the bottom of the screen, you get to see a retro Mac OS dock menu. Now, one of the impressive things which I noticed in elementary OS is that the hot corners. You can simply hover your cursor at the edges of the screen to trigger any action. For example, if I hover my cursor to the bottom right edge, then the OS triggers to show the application splatter. Similarly, hovering at the bottom left triggers the multitasking view, the place where you can see all of the applications running in the background. Other features of elementary OS include toast notifications, desktop pages, and more. Overall, I would say if you want a classic Mac OS look, then elementary OS is the one you must give it a shot. The Pantheon desktop environment and Debian package mechanism in both makes a unique flavor of Linux to choose from others. Now at number three we're having Pop OS. 
Pop OS is developed by System76, which is based on Linux Ubuntu. It offers minimal features, and most importantly, it's a lightweight Linux distro, meaning the desktop feels very smooth. I think the most important thing about Pop OS isn't the OS itself. After all, the OS is more than a rebranded Ubuntu GNOME. What's important here is that Pop OS is developed by a PC manufacturer. You may be thinking, so what? But think about it, how many PC makers offer up their own OS? The answer is two, Apple and Microsoft. The fact that System76 has taken this approach to a desktop OS is interesting. For now, Pop! OS doesn't feel much different from Ubuntu, but because GNOME is open source, so System76 has the freedom to tweak the Pop! OS to better serve its customers. Overall, I would say Pop! OS is the fastest and most powerful Linux distro which I have ever used. Unlike Ubuntu, Pop! OS feels much responsive and trust me, you will never ever face any kind of system freezing issues. So if you're a software developer who wants to write a code, then I would recommend Pop! OS without thinking of any. Manjaro Linux is an open source Linux distribution based on Arch Linux, providing all the benefits of cutting edge software. Unlike proprietary operating systems, you have full control over your hardware without any restrictions. This makes it ideal for users who want to learn how Linux works and how it is different from other operating systems. It is also best suitable for beginners who want to try out the Linux for the first time. Now, one of the interesting things about Manjaro is that there are thousands of software applications in the software center including full compatible equivalents of popular Windows software such as Microsoft Office. Now when it comes to customization, you don't need any terminal to type the command to install any special package. Instead, Manjaro provides a graphical user interface to search and install a wide variety of themes to customize the look of the desktop. Overall, I would say Manjaro is a unique Arch-dependent Linux distro which is completely user-friendly. From beginners to high-end users, anyone can use it without the need of getting confused. Now, last but not the least, at number five, we're having Deepin OS. Deepin OS is a Chinese-based free Linux distribution, which is a clone copy of Mac OS. It has built on the top of a Debian stable branch, which means it uses an aptitude and Debian package mechanism to install the software programs. Deepin OS looks completely different from GNOME or XFCE because it uses a Deepin desktop environment built on the top of Qt, an open source UI toolkit used to build a graphical user interfaces. Now, Deepin OS looks quite similar to modern Mac OS. Like Elementary and Zorin OS, it offers a dock, a launch pad, notification center, quick previews, and more. Just take a look at the launch pad. The background blur effect reminds me Mac OS user interface. The default translucent effect you get to see throughout the system is amusing. For instance, take a look at the default settings application, which is designed in such a way that reminds the Mac OS control center. Overall, I would say Deepin OS is a carbon copy of modern Mac OS and gives you satisfaction to the end user in terms of design and performance. So the bottom line of this video, if you ask me which one is my favorite one, then I will pick Pop! OS for my personal computing. That's pretty much it guys. These are the list of top 5 best and beautiful Linux distros of 2020. Let me know which is your favorite Linux distro and give me your suggestions about future videos by commenting down below. So thanks for watching. This has been KSK Ryle and I will catch you in my next video. Peace. I can never ever find the right words And there's no way this is real life There's no telling you're the right girl So I can only say that it feels right It feels right, it feels right